Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, to pretty much recap what happened, I decided to enter the Carta Magica Evo Cup, which I'm pretty satisfied with the results of, you know, my own performance and this deck here. Obviously, being it, it's a yellow War Greymon deck, but I did pretty well, so I'm pretty happy. I went X and 3 and made the top 64 cut, which feels pretty good. And uh, just more content coming soon. Just, you know, the usual waiting on Battle of Omni to come out. But overall, let's just get into the deck uh, deck profile. So I'm going to move this out of the way and start with the Digitama or the Babies. So obviously, I'm going to run the four Koromon and the one Upamon. This kind of helped me, but I think it's appropriate that it's at one. You know, always drawing cards is really good. You know, the three or less security. And then I run the four Koromon. This helps a lot, obviously, being it at four, because that extra thousand can like, kind of like get rid of blockers. So like with the yellow gore growl, get rid of four, and then get rid of the one cost blocker, and you're just gonna be good to go on War Greymon attacks. So you know nothing special here, but at the same time, it's appropriate that these numbers are for the Digitama is like that. And uh, now on to the main event or the main deck is yeah right here so obviously we're going to start off with the level sevens and just let me pick it up obviously i'm going to run the uh the two chaos mon Valder arm i wish i had a third there was a moment or there's one game that i wish i had a third but i only have two on me right now so i it's still it's still good but you know if i can find a way to get a third one in the deck i'll uh so be it uh, and to keep in mind, this is not a definitive deck profile. This is a, uh, like, kind of like what I like to run. And you can, like, use this as inspiration to build your own deck. And although there are a lot of decks that are pretty identical, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is, again, my opinion on how I like to run the deck and, you know, what resources I have on me right now. So, yeah, it's not definitive, not the all absolute answer. This is just one way of playing the deck, and it's kind of like my way. Now we're going to move on to the uh, four War Greymon, obviously the star of the deck. This really helped kind of close games and control the games in my favor, obviously to get stuff from your security to hand. And that's kind of the one of the drawbacks of the deck. Like you can like really like hurt yourself by having low amount of security, but it's also a strength. So it's a, in other words, like a double-edged sword. But again, this guy's the... Um, the main star of the deck, you know, it pairs well with other cards, but yeah, this is a really strong card as well. And yeah, just enjoy playing this deck, to be honest, more than Shine Greymon. So yeah, obviously you'll need four of these guys to kind of help you, your road to victory. And along with that, I only run seven level sixes and I'm going to move on to the, uh, sorry, the, uh, triple slash Angemon. This is also like a really good card that put in work during the tournament. It just helps like, you know, with the War Growlmon, get rid of any level six you want. And yeah, I just really like this guy. Good too. Now I'm moving on to level fives. I will run the four uh, Angelomon. This is a really good card because in a way, how I see it is like a pseudo blocker. Because you'll get rid of a security check on a... Uh, on any guy and that really helped me because I remember playing I think a blue Imperial Dramon deck and I used this to get rid of a you know the jamming Vmon security check so I it literally saved me a turn so and along with I've, I should also note the inheritance really helps because it pairs off well with the kind of other stuff that I have later and mostly with the bushy Agumon or Lucemon and that really like saved me in a lot of times so yeah good card good card we're also going to move on to the uh, four War Growlmons. This pairs off really well with the Slash Angemon of the deck. Because, you know, this will get rid of 4,000. Slash will get rid of 8,000. And that equals 12,000. And that's pretty much covers a lot of, like, level uh, level 6s or mega level Digimon. So, uh, and, yeah, the Digiburst is really nice. So, it doesn't happen on when Digivolving. So, you can, like, store it in the Raising Zone. And you're ready to deploy it. You can just like, you know, get rid of your opponent's stuff. Okay, next up, we're going to have just the one Rise Greymon. This is also pretty good, just like to have. Mainly for the uh, Inheritance, where you can minus 2k. And that really helped me in a lot of 
situations. And the Digiburst is actually pretty good too. Where it like, um, you have a TK in hand, but you don't want to spend the, uh, you don't want to like, you know, spend the, uh, the uh, memory to kind of pay it off because you might give your opponent memory. So again, you know, you store it in the raising zone, you bring this guy out, Digiburst 2, drop the TK, and you have a memory tamer to ready, like help you from getting choked on memory. Okay. That's all for the level fives of the deck. We're going to move on to the level fours and I run, uh, the four one cost blocker Pitomon, nothing special. It's just a blocker, one cost, so it just helps you when you're low on memory to start climbing and just like, you know, establishing your Digimon onto the field. It's a good card. And next up, we're going to go with the uh, four Unimon. It's two cost blocker. Again, it's just pretty good. Also, it's 6k, which I still like to use this because, um, you know, there's Nidhogmon or like Omnimon Alter S. I came across that once and this guy won't die to it. Along with like getting shuffled in the deck because Pitomon suffers this blocker kind of suffers that because it's like 5k compared to the 6k here. And you can cover a lot of ground, especially against rookie rush decks, which I'm glad I didn't come across uh using this guy because he has 6k, which is I think it's still pretty beefy for a level four. And then the four Torimon. Some people will run at three, some people wouldn't run this card card, but I really like running it because Again, the one cost and 6k, you can cover quite a bit of ground on it. And yeah, it's, I, I like this card a lot, so it's pretty good. <clears throat> Next up in the deck, we're going to go to level 3s, which also put in a lot of work at the tournament. So I have the one Lusamon. I used to run it at 2, but I feel like it's a bit clunky at 2. So the one's good, because like if you have it in your hand, you can use it. It's pretty good late game, because you know 10 or more just becomes a 5 cost card. And the recovery plus one, it really like saved me a lot of games because I would either use like, you know, Blinding Ray or War Greymon and it would like kind of deplete my security into like a good like danger zone or no, a bad danger zone. So yeah, and it's a 10k beater too, so you can cover a lot of grounds and uh, good cards. And then for the level threes, I'm going to showcase the card that put in a lot of work in the deck, which is the Pulsemon himself. It pairs off with the War Greymon Anjou Woman combo where you just drop him and you have exactly three. You can, uh, you know, gain a memory and then draw a card, which is really, really good. Or it, this is such a good hard cast since you can get an extra memory or, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, or just draw a card early game because, you know, drawing cards are really good. Like if you don't, if you can't digivolve, you can just hard cast this, draw a card, get resource that way. So I'm I'm really glad I uh, kind of put the investment to get this card, since it's just it's I think it's a really really good card. And um, yeah, just it's really nice. Okay, now we're gonna move on to three Sukaimon. I wish I had four. I don't like the two cost Salamon. It's really up to preference. I just like this one because it's one of my favorite rookies. But I wish I had more just because it's a two cost and it helps you like memory choke your opponents. So it can transition into your turn easier because the obviously the less memory they have, the less they can do. That's really how the flow of the game works. So yeah, if I can find another one of these, I'll just run four of these guys just because it's really good. And if you have like three memory extra to work with, you can like drop Sukaimon and put a blocker on top. And then yeah, work it out that way. So yeah, this put on a lot of work too, so I'm really glad to have it. The three bushy Agumons is really good just because you can like kind of cheese out your opponent, close games by uh with the War Greymon Anjumon combo, so you can just rush into the security pretty well. But yeah, it's just there for that. I might cut it down to two, but three seems like a pretty good number right now. Uh, the two Salomon, this one put in a lot of work as well because, again, with the Coral, that's an extra 2,000. And it's, sometimes that, you need that extra 1,000, and that's what I did with this card. And along with the War Greymon, you can deplete for 2,000 because it says when attacking, and it's not once per turn. So this card is... I might actually max out on this card too. But right now, two seems to work pretty well. Finally, um, for the rookies, we got two Patamon. This one wasn't that useful. I'm not sure if I can't come across it or I just forgot the effect. But it's kind of it's just a good option to have or consider when making Yellow War Greymon. So 
yeah, uh, I might actually cut this, but it seems pretty inoffensive to put in the deck, so it's just there around right now. Next up for the Tamers, just the double TK. Some people will run it at three, but I think an appropriate number is two, since you can still work with this deck and be operational even without it. But it's just good to have, since obviously you can look into your security pile for resource and then just add it to hand. That's just really good. Being a memory tamer, you can avoid being memory choked. So, yeah, this is really good. And then, finally, the three options. The triple blinding ray. This card is really good. There was one game where I just activated all three in my hand at once. And I was losing, so I turned the game around by having this card. And it really pairs off. Like, if you activate three at once and then drop the Valor Arms, you're, like, such in a good position. Because, like, Valor Arms itself is a deterrent because of its effect, you know, to gain three memory on deletion. And people want to play around that. So, yeah. <clears throat> that's, uh, that's my deck for uh, the Carta Magica Evo Cup where I made it into top 64. I know I was in top 10, but I don't know. It just feels good to be part of the top 64 and came 44th i know but it, it feels good feels good because personally i was sat, uh, satisfied by my own performance with the deck and hopefully i can continue that when entering more tournaments so yeah thanks for watching comment like subscribe hopefully i'll have more arc knights content hopefully i have more uh digimon tcg content on the way so you know thanks for everything again thanks for watching and just have a good day wherever you are.